Hey everyone, we're back. Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. We are doing another video on trigonometric integrals. This time we're going to solve a tan secant integral. Okay, so in this particular question, all right, we have a odd function of tan multiplied by an odd function of secant, an odd power, all right? So in this case, what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to factor out a tan x secant x from the problem Okay, and then we're going to be left with an even function of tan. And once we're left with an even function of tan, we're gonna express that as one minus secant squared x, or secant squared x minus one, rather. So let's go ahead and let's start, okay? And it's important, like I said before, to do a lot of different problems with all different types of powers, okay? Last, last video we did sine cos, this one we're doing tan secant. We're going to show you a couple tricks, but the best way to do it, once again, is to practice. Let's go ahead and get started, okay? So, now let's uh, do what we said, okay? When, whenever we have an odd tan, we're going to factor out a tan x secant x, okay? So, we have tan squared, okay? Times tan x secant x dx, all right? So, we're going to pretend that this term is kind of like its own little term there, and we're going to keep it separate. and we know the identity up here, okay? Tan squared x is equal to secant squared x minus one. All right, and we're going to use that and we're going to plug that in to tan squared x. So we have secant squared x minus one, okay? And that is going to be multiplied by tan x secant x dx. Okay, so at this point, all right, uh, I'm going to put a little link up on the, on the video, on the screen, all right? In the last video, I showed you a trick in which you didn't need to use u substitution in order to solve the problem, okay? In this problem, I am going to use the u substitution just so that you can see how it works and how that trick works, okay? So if you haven't watched that video yet, I, I, I suggest you watch that one first because that's kind of the easier way to do it. And then this is the the longer version of that trick and how it works and why that trick works. So this will help you, you know, kind of understand it a little bit better. Okay, so what we've done now is uh, we, we've expanded it into this form, okay? And now we are going to substitute u for secant x, okay? So we're going to say that u is equal to secant x, okay? And du, okay, is equal to secant x tan x, okay, because the derivative of secant x is just secant x tan x, okay, dx. All right, so now what do we do? How do we proceed? Well, we're going to make our u substitution here, all right, so we are going to be left with u squared, okay, minus 1, tan x secant x dx. All right, so uh, I don't know, how do we proceed here? Well, as you can see, we have a dx term here, all right? And if we pay attention, I didn't write them in the same order. However, if we s substitute for dx here, all right, we're gonna see that these two terms cancel, all right? So rearranging here, we have dx is equal to du over tan x secant x, okay? And we can now substitute dx into this problem. So, so we have u squared minus 1, all right? And that is going to be times tan x secant x still, right? But substituting for dx, okay? If we substitute for dx here, we put this in, we're going to be left with du over tan x secant x. All right, and as you'll see, this tan x... Uh, secant x cancels, and we're left with the very simple integral, u squared minus 1 du. Okay, so this is exactly what we did in the last question, okay, where these terms canceled in the, when we were using c, uh, sine and cos. This is the long way to do it, and as you can see, we have to write it out, we have to substitute for dx, we have to cancel the terms, and then we're going to have to resubstitute back in, okay, so that's what I meant by saving time. And 
we can go ahead and evaluate this integral by applying the integration to both terms here. And I'm just gonna do it quickly in my head. So we have u to the three, okay, over three, applying the power rule, right? Okay, minus u. Integration of one is just u, right? And now we can go ahead and we can reapply our u into the function. Just substitute back in, okay? So we, we should be left with uh, secant cubed x over, because u is secant, okay? Over three, okay, minus secant x. All right, just rewrite that as a final answer, okay? We, and I'm just gonna do that over here. So we have the integration of tan cubed x, secant x, dx, okay, is equal to secant cubed x over three minus secant x plus c. And that is our final answer down in the corner. Very good. So uh, what we did here is we solved another trigonometric integral. In this case, I showed you uh, how the, the shortcut in the previous video that I linked before works. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit longer. If you're more comfortable doing it this way, if you feel like you're not going to make a mistake, go for it. But I don't really see any other way or any, other, any real reason to, uh, to do it this long way. I would suggest doing it in the video before the way that we did it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns or anything, post uh, below, like and subscribe. Thanks again.